And it started off, Kidstown was going to be in the main, uh, I guess, worship center up there, upstairs. Then as more and more uh, I got into it, I realized it was bigger than that. So initial thought, when I did the asking, I said, I wonder how big it is. So I was guessing about 6,000 square feet. So I went up there one night, and after measuring around, it ended up being over 11,000 square feet. Kids love energy. And this Kids Town atmosphere creates energy, creates them somewhere they can go, they can attach to. For them, one, to be built up as disciples. Once they're saved, I want them to become disciples, and I want them to become leaders, and I want them to be uh, the next generation of disciple makers. One, I'm not a very good painter, and I'm not a very good carpenter, and there has been some people that have stepped up and volunteered all this time and have been with me from day one. Every Sometimes they can only be there one time, and some have been there every time. And I am so thankful for those that have volunteered even one second. And I had one tell me this, Pastor, you don't have to thank me. I said, oh, yes, I do. I said, is this, and the Bible said, in all things give thanks. And I'm a thankful person because I couldn't have done it without them sitting there one night by myself, just counting the doors and the rooms that we had. We had over 20 rooms and over 40 doors. And I started looking at the name plates of these names all over the doors and it had people's names I've never even heard of. So I started walking around and I really prayed about this and I said, God, you know, you hear these people have, you know, uh, given their money to build this building. So I started looking back and this building was built in 1971. So prior to that, the vision was casted before that. And I started thinking about all these people. If it wasn't for their vision in 1970 or 71, now mind you, I was born in 1970. So I was an infant when this started. And I started thinking about those people. And I said, if it wasn't for them, none of this would be possible. We wouldn't have a building to renovate. And I remember talking to one of the deacons and he explained to me how each person adopted a room and they gave. And I remember the, the money amounts and equivalent to a lot of money these days. It's probably five or six thousand dollars for a family uh, in these days numbers, which would be a lot for me or anyone. And those people that paved the way made it possible for Kids Town in 2019. If it wasn't for them, none of this has been possible. Kids Town is amazing. I'm ecstatic to see where God has taken this from day one and to where it's now. I'm asking you, right after service, soon as possible, won't you come up here and see what God is doing? It's amazing what He has done in just such a little time to a place that just needed some love, just needed some life put into it. We ask you to come. And one, while you're walking up there, please pray. We need all the prayer we can get. And while you're praying, not only over these kids about what they're going to, decisions they're going to make and how they're going to be disciples and how they're going to just move forward and make an impact in the Dinsmore community and outside of that, I'm asking you to pray and ask yourself, where can you serve? I'm asking you right now to come in here and be a partner in Kids Town. Why don't you pray about that now and we'll see you soon. God bless you.